books and where to find them. Just a really quick video today to say it is almost time for the Booktubeathon 2017. So the Booktubeathon starts on Monday the 24th of July. You can check out their YouTube channel. I'll stick a link in the description below for you. And what we're going to do is there are seven challenges uh, to read, ideally, seven different books. I mean, you can group them up and stuff. It's all explained in the video on the Booktubeathon YouTube channel. Uh, I just want to give you my To Be Read video, really. For the first challenge, which is read a book with a person on the cover, I'm going to read Nimona. This is a graphic novel, comic sort of style that I got for Christmas, I think last year or the year before, and I've been meaning to read it because it looks adorable. Uh, I'm going to go into more detail with all of these books uh, the day after I've, I've read them, hopefully, uh, or throughout, throughout the week. I'm probably not going to be able to finish, apart from at least one book, I'm not going to be able to necessarily finish all of these in one day, but I'm going to make sure that throughout the day that I do read it, and then I'm going to do the video, hopefully the next day, for you guys to see, so I can talk about the video as we go. The turn for day two is to read a book that's hyped, and that is Because You Love To Hate Me. I say hyped, I, I've seen it on Instagram a lot, uh, I was going to buy this myself anyway um, because I got a sample for it and it looks amazing and I think I'm really going to enjoy it. But it seems to be very popular on Instagram at the moment so I'm going to class it as hyped. Um, and I think I don't want to get too much into really heavy stories for this because I am gonna, just going to be reading it um, just for this week for now and then I'll get into it properly later. So I just thought it would be a really good one for this challenge. For challenge number three which is read a book in a day. I've gone for Milk and Honey. Uh, it is a very tiny book and that's kind of the idea because I've got loads of stuff going on this week anyway but I still really want to take part in this. Um, so I am waiting to read this until day three so that um, I can read it in one day. Uh, I think I should be able to. It's quite a small book. Uh, even with a two-year-old I should be fine. Um, but I'm really looking forward to reading it. So that is my pick for challenge number three. Now, for day four, the challenge is to read something that is completely different from yourself. So for me, I'm going to be reading the third Percy Jackson book. It's a male protagonist, he's very young, um, and he's, doesn't, he's not very like me at all. Um, I did find, actually reading the first two of these, that I didn't relate to him very well, so I figured it kind of fits perfectly. And again, it's not a massive book, and it's not going to be super, super heavy. So I'm hopefully going to be able to read a nice chunk of this, if not maybe all of it, because it's a nice my small book and that's kind of idea. I want to read all of these books I want to get through all of them so that's why I'm choosing kind of the small books for this the challenge for day five is to read a book completely outside you don't have to read it in one go it doesn't have to be all in one day but every time you read it you need to be outside a lot of people freaked out about this apparently uh, I have a balcony so it's actually kind of easy for me I quit smoking about maybe a month ago now and I used to go out on the balcony for a cigarette so instead of a cigarette this week I'm gonna go out for a poem every single time this is soft as sin anthology which is by Dawn Vincent uh, I personally know the author she's amazing and I have been meaning to read this whole thing I've been sort of a flip through every so often here and there and I do need to read the whole thing so I'm gonna be doing that this week as well again it's a nice little one but literally look at the font there's more here than you would than you would think there is. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and this is gonna be my cigarettes for the week. Um, probably just as addictive. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> the challenge for day six is a book you picked the cover for. This is one that I think I might not finish, and that is Lorelei. Uh, I bought this because the cover is beautiful. I think I saw the cover for the newest one and realized this is the first one and I had to buy it. I'm on a complete and a mermaid kick at the moment, hence the hair. Um, so I couldn't resist buying it. I have, I did start reading it when I was stuck in my book hangover and it did take me a little while to get into. So I'm going to start again uh, for the challenge this week and see how far I can get. It's an average size book so you never know if I have a lot of time. Maybe if I learn to read in the car, uh, maybe I'll get, I'll get through it with any luck. But yeah, that's my pick for that. And the challenge is to read seven books and they're only six. So I've added on one of my favourite books, The Two Princesses of Barmere. This is actually like a really old book. This is Gail Carson Levine and it's not even a young adult book. This is more like probably 9 to 12 fiction, I guess. Uh, I was just, I, I'm probably really younger than that. This is one of my favourite books I have ever, ever read. It's nice and short. It's nice and comfy and easy and I probably could read this in a night and I love it. So I thought I added it on just to get some extra entertainment out of it uh, and just an excuse to reread this, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's probably one of my favourite books I've ever read um and it's just it's really random it probably propelled me along with harry potter obviously into the world of reading the world of books i guess really 
So there we go. That is my to be read for the Booktubeathon 2017. I also realise that Yonk is next weekend as well, so I'm hoping maybe on the journey up there I'll get some reading done. Uh, I'm hopefully going to do a, a bit of a vlog while I'm there as well, so we'll see how that goes. We have loads and loads of content coming out for the channel. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to see all this, so thank you all for watching. I'm hoping to meet loads of you lovely new people through the booktube with some of their luck because I'm still fairly new to the booktube community and don't know a lot of people, especially in the UK, uh, which is where I'm from. So that would be nice as well, hopefully. So yeah, uh, keep an eye out for me. You can check me out on my Instagram as well and I'm the same on Twitter. Uh, I'll put everything in the description for you guys now. And if you are a booktube and you're not joining in with the booktube -a go check it out. You never know. It's, it's a week full of fun. You don't have to read seven books, but you know... It's just fun just to be like a whole week of like reading with everyone. So yeah, that's all for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys and I will see you next week. Goodbye.